Alright, this is pre-trip section C. Starts from the header board. This is my header board with rivets. The header board is to stop or prevent a shifting load. It's not been broken, cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. We have our front and side clearance lights. They amber in color because they're at the front of the truck. They're properly mounted and secure, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They functional and they operational. We have our trailer frame on the side. Trailer frame has no illegal welding, not been broke or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. No holes or dents, it's properly mounted and secure. We have our DOT reflective tape. Should be red and white in color. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken, cracked. Clean, clear, and not cracked. Should be 50% on the side of the track. We have our landing gear and sand feet. Our landing gear and sand feet. Not being broken, cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Properly mounted and secure. The sand feet is in the fully raised position or a locked or secure position. The crank handle is in a locked or secure position. Also, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. It's properly mounted and secure. This is a multifunctional light. Serves as a left and right turn signal, four way flasher, and a marker light. It's amber in color because it's at the front of the trailer. Uh, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. It's functional and operational, and it's properly mounted and secure. We have our cross members. Cross members. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken, cracked. Has no illegal welding. And they're uh, properly mounted and secure. This is also a multifunctional light. Serves as a left and right turn signal, four way flasher, and a marker light. Amber in color because it's at the front of the trailer. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken, cracked. Properly mounted and secure. Functional and operational. Back here, this is our tandem release arm. It's in a locked or secure position. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken, cracked. Properly mounted and secure. This is our tandem frame. Tandem frame has no illegal welding. Not being broken, cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. This is our spring mount. Spring mount has no missing or damaged bushes inside. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. Properly mounted and secure. Connected to the spring mount, we have our leaf springs. Leaf springs not being broke or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not scissoring or has not shifted. Also, we have our airbag and airbag mounts. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. They're properly mounted and secure. Uh, the airbag not leaking or has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts. Also, back in the back, we have our shocks. Our shocks is properly mounted and secure, not leaking, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and not been broken, cracked. We have our brake chamber. Our brake chamber, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked, uh, and it's properly mounted and secure, not leaking. This is our brake hoses. Has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts at the connection points. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. Not leaking. Properly mounted and secure. In the back of the brake chamber, we have the slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod should only have no more than one inch of play with the brakes release. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. Properly mounted and secure. Not leaking. All right. Now we want to talk about our brake drum. Brake drum has no illegal wells or holes or dents. Should be free of grease and debris. Not been broken, cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. We have our brake linings inside. Brake linings should only have a quarter inch of friction material at its thinnest point. Should be free of grease and debris. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not been broken, cracked. Properly mounted and secure. All right. Now we want to move out to the tire. Got two tires that's butted up against each other. This is the bud space. The bud space is to keep the tires from touching. The bud space should be centered 
and free of foreign objects. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken, cracked. It's probably matter they're secure. We have our tire. These tires are evenly wired. Should be 232 seconds. These tires can be recapped. The tire is filled to 100 PSI or whatever the manufacturer specifies. Uh, it's not leaking. Uh, it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Properly mounted and secure. We have our rim. Rim not been broken, cracked, has no illegal welding, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. I love nuts. Has no shiny rust trails, which would indicate looseness. And not missing the nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked, properly mounted and secure. This is our hub or axle seal. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked. It's properly mounted and secure, not leaking. We have our valve stem with cap. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked, not leaking. It's properly mounted and secure, filled to the proper level. All right, this is axle four. The same way we explain axle four, we will do the same for axle five. Also on the suspension, I mentioned the airbags, yeah, the airbags. So that's axle four, axle five, and we go straight to the uh, mud flap. The mud flap should be eight inches off the ground, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broken, cracked, has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts. It's properly mounted and secure. All right. We have our door tie down latch. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. It's properly mounted and secure. This is our ABS light. It's amber in color. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broke or cracked. Clean, clear, functional, and operational. Properly mounted and secure. This is a marker light. Not missing it. nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. It's red in color, clean, clear, and not cracked. It's functional and operation. We have our L shape DOT reflective tape. Should be white in color, clean, clear, and not cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Probably mounted and secure. We have our door hinges. Door hinges, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked, it's properly mounted and secure. We have our door. Our door has no holes or dents or no illegal welding, not being broke or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, it's properly mounted and secure. We have our door handle. Door handle is in a locked or secure position, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked, it's properly mounted and secure. We have our DOT reflective tape. Should be 100% across the back of the trailer. Red and white in color. Clean, clear, and not cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not been broke or cracked. Properly mounted and secure. All right, this is a multifunctional light. It serves as a left and right turn signal, four way flasher, and a marker light. It's red in color. Clean, clear, and not cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not been broke or cracked. Properly mounted and secure. This is also a multifunctional light. Serves as a brake light and a marker light. Clean, clear, not cracked, red in color. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. Both driver side and passenger side is operational and functional. All right. We have our door seal. Door seal has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts. It's not leaking. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken or cracked. They're properly mounted and secure. We have our license plate tag light. The license plate tag light is clean, clear, and not cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Not being broken or cracked. Properly mounted and secure. All right. So this trailer doesn't have clearance lights in the back. Also, you want to indicate if this trailer has a lift gate or not. So this trailer does not have a lift gate. You have to tell the examiner that fact. And that's that complete pre-trip seat.